What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're doing another awesome tools under $30. So in comes the handheld sprayer from Steel, the SG11. This thing is awesome. A great tool under $30. If you're interested in what I have to say about it, stay tuned. Guys, before we get started with the review, uh, first things first, I want to say that I have used and abused this bad boy. So, uh, if it can be sprayed, it has been sprayed through this. Um, I've done everything from stain to spar varnish to uh, wax on the uh, basement floor, uh, water, uh, insecticides, pesticides. I've literally put everything through this bad boy. Um, of course, you have to worry about uh, it being water-based. I've even done some oil-based stuff and you know, like spar varnish, I just rinsed it out with mineral spirits. So this thing has been through a true test on just everything that it can spray. So I'm very impressed with this. Um, these come in at like $22 from your steel dealership. Uh, you're not prob you're probably not gonna be able to find them online. Um, it's not like an Amazon item. You need to go to your local steel dealer um, to get one of these. But I, I wholeheartedly believe in this bad boy. Most of the time you'll find me carrying it around by the, the plunger, which is totally, you know, not something that they're going to recommend. I mean, this thing, it's pretty stout, so it has held up to uh, misuse and abuse for the most part. Um, it it hasn't skipped a beat. So some things and some features about this. Um, I I wish that it came with multiple spray tips. So the green spray tip that's in it um, is just a uh, simple mister. It makes kind of like a an egg shaped mist in the in the uh, right up by the tip, and then it kind of fans out. So I wish it had come with multiple tips. Uh, or a tip that was adjustable where you could crank it down and make it more of a stream. But this has really done just about anything that I need. Uh, it, it's been really good. Now, as, as you lose pressure in this, it will get really, really choppy. So um, as you can tell, I mean, it's just spitting. Um, it, once you pump it up, it'll give you a nice fine spray. Um, I've probably way over pressurized this thing many, many times. Um, it definitely gives you a nice fine spray, a big broadcast. Um, I'd say, you know, you have every bit of a two foot broadcast, depending on how close you get to the sprayer, um, you know, it will, will be a uh, more focused uh, spray on there. This thing is one and a half liters, and I'm just overall impressed with this thing. This is spray just about anything you want. Nice O-ring construction. You know, if you know anything about me, um, I'm definitely a fan of O-ring construction um, and having the O-rings is nice for longevity. So no matter how many times you take it apart and clean it, uh, those O-rings stay pretty darn good. So um, another thing that I do like is the uh, pressure release. So there's not many sprayers or garden sprayers that I've ever seen with a pressure release. So usually you crank off the lid and it sprays in your face. Um, and then you have insecticide or whatever on your goggles or, or maybe you're not wearing any PP at all. But uh, this decompression uh, little wheel is very, very convenient. So if you need to, you know, for whatever reason, you figure out that you haven't mixed enough or you want it mixed heavier, you can simply roll your finger on this dial and it will decompress. That's really, really nice and I really like that. So it's not like you're spinning this thing off and then it's just, you know, blowing everywhere. So I really, really like this thing. And for under $30, um, I, I want to own a couple of them. So the only qualm I have is I wish it came with a bunch of different tips so um, you could do different applications. But this is technically just a handheld sprayer. And, you know, I use it as such. But uh, something like a, a, a pencil um, a trajectory or whatever you want to call it, tip. Um, would be really cool for like spot, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, pesticide or, you know, your herbicides and stuff like that. Um, spraying directly on weeds would be convenient, but you know, it's not a deal breaker. For $22, this thing is absolutely a must buy. If you're looking into it, I hope this review finds you and it helps you out in the future. Um, this has been out for a very long time. It's just something that I believe in. I've had it, I've had this for uh, probably going on three years now. So they've been out for a while, maybe, maybe not. 
Um, and I'm losing track of time. Who knows? So uh, fully recommend it. I give it a thumbs up. Remember, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into, and we'll see you guys in the next video.